hi welcome to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you something very very interesting i'll be showing you how to make a ton paper effect background in photoshop so if you're ready let's dive right into the video all right so for this tutorial we'll be using photoshop 2020 okay but it works for any other version of photoshop so we are already in photoshop okay so you start by creating a new project so you come to create new all right um yeah then you give your project a title i can just say ton paper background ton paper effect ton paper effect background okay then the the dimension you can use any dimension of your choice okay um pixels or inches whatever but i think i like a uh, i'm just since it's um just for social media okay i'm, I'm not printing it so I'm, i can just um as well do a, a short a small design so four inches by four inches okay you can make yours eight by eight what or 16 by 16 whatever but i think um four by four is okay four inches for the width four inches for the height the resolution and you can leave it at 72 or 300 um okay 300 is okay then um okay you can leave other settings the way they are all right then you click create all right all right so here we are in our canvas so the first thing you're going to do ensure that this layer is unlocked okay there's a padlock icon beside your the um, um on your layer background so ensure the background is unlocked so you click the padlock icon to open your layer first okay now on your toolbar by your left hand side you go to where you have your shapes okay so that's here you hold and click down and go for a, re a rectangle then okay so you draw a rectangle here okay let's say you draw it to a point of um let's say half of your your um your canvas okay half or somewhere here is okay all right then you can give it any color of your choice um i think we, maybe we can just stick with the black so if you wish to change this color to let's say a red okay okay you can change that or um yellow and also change but i think i like it at black okay so let's let's leave it at the default which is black okay so we have successfully changed the color of our shape of our rectangle all right now the next thing to do is you rasterize your rectangle okay you rasterize your rectangle so you come to your rectangle layer and you right click and select rasterize now why do we rasterize our layer uh, why do we rasterize the rectangle because we want to put an effect on the rectangle all right so we have to um, ensure that the rectangle layer is rasterized else the effect we are going to uh, we wish to achieve in this video would not be possible all right okay so okay so we have successfully rasterized our triangle I'm um, sorry, our rectangle. All right. Now you go again to your toolbar here, your by your left, and you locate. You look for your lasso tool. All right. Okay. Here we go. This is our lasso tool. All right. So you click and then you bring it. Um, sorry, this is our lasso tool. All right. So you come to your lasso tool here okay select your lasso tool and then you draw um, a random just draw a random line across the your rectangle ensure that your um, before you start drawing your um, before you start using the lasso tool ensure that the rectangle layer is selected or or else this effect ain't gonna work all right so you ensure that the rectangle layer is selected then go to your take uh, pick your lasso tool and then from the edge of the black rectangle you just draw a random 
shape of your choice okay take it down or up like that just any random shape all right a random line rather okay then when it gets to the end you take it down and just um, take it back to where you started from all right then you let go okay good now the next thing to do you press your delete key on your keyboard all right so you press your delete key on your keyboard first of okay all right your delete key good and then you press ctrl d to deselect all right ctrl d all right now you see that what we have successfully okay achieved our torn paper background all right now um if you feel that the the um torn paper background the 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 effect here is too sharp okay you can make it blurry a bit by going to your um filter all right then go to blur then gaussian gaussian blur all right so you can blur the edge edges a bit okay if you feel it's too sharp all right but if you feel it's okay you can leave it like that but I, I think it's okay um i think it's okay or just blur it a little bit just blur it a little okay, i think this is fine all right so here we are we have achieved we have successfully achieved the tone paper background that you see in designs all over the place now if you if, if you want to add a little twist to um our design or our background we can go a step further by duplicating our rectangle layer all right so you go to your rectangle layer and right click and select duplicate layer all right so you can rename it as a rectangle okay rectangle 2 all right good so we have successfully duplicated our rectangle layer now ensure that the duplicate of your rectangle is active okay then you press ctrl t okay to select the transform all right ctrl t okay all still on the duplicate copy of your rectangle then you right click okay on the um duplicate cop um, duplicate of your rectangle and select rotate 180 degrees all right good then you drag it down drag it down a bit all right so this looks nice lovely this looks lovely all right so you can now start creating your designs all right okay you can leave it like this or like this or better still both okay so you see this is how to um create torn paper effect background in photoshop so i'm sure you had value from this video if you did please give the video a like share the video with your friends and of course subscribe to my channel so till i see you in my next video take care and stay safe